Our next guest fights with superheroes on TV, but is doing everything he can to use his hero status for good in real life. Please welcome from the boys, Laz Alonzo. Hey, hey, hey. hey what's up, Laz? What's up? Hi. 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 All right. So we all know what it means to be a daddy, but you call yourself a plant daddy. How many plants do you have, Laz? <laughs> I'm a I proud plant daddy. This. I have upwards of 50 plants right now. And I need quarantine to be what? over because it's getting a little out of control. I'm a little overwhelmed at the Wait. moment. Yo, I have, <laughs> I you guys have, have like a little shop of horrors in a second. I cannot, I cannot even take care of my cactus and they need nothing. What got you into plants in the first place? <laughs> so uh, I had a, a dog for my first 14 years in LA. And that was my road dog. I mean, he was with me from when I was still auditioning for little commercial roles and, and, and little bit parts on shows to the point where, you know, he saw everything from that to Avatar. And uh, I lost my dog. I still haven't gotten over it. I haven't healed to the point where I've been able to get another dog. So I put all my loving and energy into, into plants. And, and that's just kind of like... Well Giving me something to well, pour some alive. love. Well, alive. You've got 50 alive, so I'd say you have a green thumb, right? right? That's amazing. You definitely yeah, have yeah. a green I, thumb. I got fruit-bearing trees. <laughs> if you need some oranges, lemons, guava. Yes. Uh, I got a mango tree, peaches. Let oh me know. God, I, I, got want, I want mangoes. That's I got amazing. you. I want some guava. I didn't even know you could oh grow guava out here. I thought it was tropical. Wow. Well, what are your thoughts on the NFL trying to make amends for their past issues with racism? I think that it's the least they can do. You know, I think that uh, they have a lot of a much longer way to go. This is a good start. Uh, I love to see how sports teams have stepped up to the current times. But I think if they really wanted to, to make a true statement, they would give Kaepernick a, another opportunity to come back and really show that he's still in play. And, and if he can't play, then that's a different story. But give the man a shot. You know, so mm -hmm. that's where I'm at with it. Absolutely. And you are I'm you are really you using that, your platform to push the message of how important it is to vote. What's the main point uh, that you're trying to drive home by getting involved? Uh, you know, that's, a, that's a, a great question. And I'll tell you, the main reason is because I'm not trying to push anybody to vote in one direction or another. Everybody has the, the right as a U.S. citizen to support whoever they want for whatever reason they want. Yeah. However... I, I really feel personally attacked when my own community feels disenfranchised to the point where they feel like their vote, vote doesn't count. And I would be remiss if I didn't use my platform to make sure that everyone knows that if your vote didn't count, there wouldn't be special interest groups and PACs spending billions of dollars per month yeah. to get you to believe that your vote doesn't count. Everyone's vote That's right. counts. And we need everybody That's to right. go out in droves. You know, at one point That's I was right. thinking about so mailing great. it in. I'm not. I'm driving my butt to the polls. I'm going to have my mm -hmm. mask on, mm -hmm. my little hand sanitizer, and I'm going to vote in person because I got to make sure that nothing happens to it. And that's, that's, that's what I'm hard. doing. I, hear you. I love it. I feel you on that, Laz. Uh, man, I really love uh, your expression and also your work, obviously, on the show The Boys. Your character, whose nickname is Mother's Milk, suffers from OCD and uses tons of hand sanitizer. So was that in some way, you know, good training for the pandemic? So I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, Jeannie, but uh, a lot of what you see in Mother's Milk this season is actually Eric Kripke, our show creator, our showrunner, taking Laz and dumping him into the character. So in the beginning yeah. of every season, we sit down and we talk about where is this character going this season? just so I kind of know how, how to play him from episode to episode. And we talked about hand sanitizer and I went in my book bag and I pulled out my Purell with aloe. And he was like, <laughs> interesting. He was just looking at me confused, like, you okay. Me up. And then I said, oh, oh, wait, but if you, if you do the Purell, you gotta do the wet wipes. So I pull out the wet wipes and I explained to him the difference between, you know, the Clorox wipes, you know, versus the baby wipes. And you can't dry wipe. You got to wet wipe first and then dry wipe, you know, to make sure you get it all out. You don't want to smear anything into the, into the skin. I'm here for this. <laughs> I know. You're it's crazy. a mess. Laz, I'm a mess. You're so funny. Um, Laz, the show can be pretty gory. Where, uh, were there any scenes that, you know, you had a hard time shooting? 
I would say the whale scene was probably the worst, and that's because I am a tad bit OCD, and being completely covered in uh, a syrup uh, outside in 98-degree uh, heat with humidity inside of a whale that was about 120 degrees in the sun. Now, mind you, when they oh pitched God. us the whale episode, they told us the whale was going to have air conditioning in it. <laughs> they were telling about, yeah, they were telling us about how sophisticated this whale was, how it's animatronics, the heart pumps, the lungs pump, it spurts blood, and also they built in these ducts mm. so they could funnel in air conditioning. Now, I don't know if the budget, once they finished building that whale, ran out, <laughs> but we didn't get air conditioning that day. And then, <laughs> and then, you got, then, then we had to learn how to work inside the whale because if you touched anything on the whale... Your syrup and the whale syrup was going to get stuck and dry out. Ah, so by the time you're done with the scene and horrible. you try to move, it, you, you're stuck to the whale. You, you become one with the whale. So, yeah, that was... Well, this isn't as... Now I see why you like this, to hang out with plants. Yes. Look, yeah, you know what? Exactly. I want to see the clip of you and the whale, but this is not the clip of you and the whale, but it is the clip of you and the boy, so let's take a look at it. <laughs> My pops, he'd always ask for samples. Now, this place had 31 flavors, and that man would taste each and every flavor every time we'd go up in there. There'd be a line all the way out the door. People would be mad as hell, yelling, cussing. Yo, my man, get <laughs> ice cream and bounce. You think that stopped him? <laughs> hell nah. He would stand right there and order another sample. Can I please try the Jamoka almond fudge, please? Les, you were so That's much so fun. Good. Thank it's you for hanging out with us today. It's always show. a pleasure to see you. Season you two of The Boys is streaming right now on Amazon.